Hi everyone, I'm outside because the lighting is good out here and it's a beautiful evening. What a perfect place to share with you some of my favorite things right now, or one of my favorite things, not some, one of my favorite things. I'm gonna share with you my cauliflower bread that I found on Amazon. So excited about this. It is saving my life, let me just say, saving my life, because it was killing me to make it. So, here we go. Just a backstory on this. My husband and I started eating cauliflower bread, I wanna say six months ago, and we've had our go at making it from scratch, and that is no fun, let me just tell you. No bueno. Uh, I tried to shop for it quite expensive. We're talking about probably $10 per pizza crust. So that wasn't an option for me. Um, probably six months ago I checked on Amazon and we were looking with shipping and everything. It turned out to be about $10 per pizza crust. So that was uh, just not feasible, not for my lifestyle. So fast forward six months later and hell of a time making the crust by scratch. Just not fun. So my husband came across some cauliflower bread on Amazon. Evidently they have more sellers now. So the price has dropped somewhat. Um, and I've been enjoying it thoroughly because number one, I'm not having to make it myself, which is so labor intensive. Um, so we've ordered some and I just wanted to share with you what to expect if you want to try it out. It's much more affordable this time around. And not so painstaking. So this is the box it came in. And what it says on here is perishable, refrigerate upon arrival, open immediately. So let's see. I let's see, when did I receive this? We ordered on May 10th and we received it May 17th. So that's seven days. But this priority mail tells me it shipped, it got here in two days. So, let's see here. Let's see, it comes in a styrofoam box. Let me tell you what it says. The shipping cost was $14. The total was $27.96, and it gives us 24 pieces of cauliflower sandwich thins. Low carb, gluten free, paleo friendly, keto, four pack. So, we got. 24 pieces for $27 and $14 shipping, the total being $41.96. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It comes with this, I guess this was an ice pack and then this was styrofoam inside. Ice pack. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, the brand name of this is First Street. Quality since 1871. Not sure. That, I didn't know it was around that long. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe that's the age of the company. But yes, it says Outer Isle Gourmet. Outer Isle Gourmet. And it's a total of two carbs. One fiber, one sugar, four proteins. That's pretty good. And in comparison to what we were making um, from scratch, what I was making from scratch never got really, it always had a soft texture to it and would fall apart. So I'm really pleased with these for the price. Um, the texture of it's really good. This is about hamburger bun size. We tried the pizza crust and the pizza crust takes on an Italian flavor so I opted not to do that again I will just use these as my pizza crust if I want a pizza because with the pizza crust ones I couldn't use that as a sandwich if I wanted to make a sandwich but with these I can go pizza I can go sandwich I can go hamburger bun um, I can go different directions with it so we got four of these and let's see they are 50 calories four protein two carbs that's pretty awesome. It says fresh cauliflower, cage-free eggs, Parmesan cheese. And that was our recipe when we were doing them from scratch. We were using Parmesan cheese. Uh, Nut-free. Okay, that's that. They stuck it in a Ziploc bag before they shipped it off. Um, 
I'm very pleased with this spine. I find it so easy to replace your bread. Let me just say that this, this by no means tastes like bread. I hope that was helpful. I've made some different sandwiches with the cauliflower bread. I will be doing pizzas soon. I guess they would be like personal pan size, smaller than personal pan size pizzas. But, oh, okay. I need to mention that to prepare this bread, I stick it in the toaster oven. So that makes it really simple. With that pizza crust, I couldn't stick that in the toaster oven. That had to, it just didn't fit. And it would, you know, it's just cumbersome. It would fit, but it was just, it was just too close to ruin it, ruining it. So I really like this size. It's just been perfect for us. So check it out, guys. <laughs>